You hear deep learning being talked about all the time. It's very fashionable, but it's also enormously powerful. So if you, I give you a picture and I ask you, is this a picture of a cat or a dog? Once upon a time, this was a really hard thing to do, to write a program that could do that for you. And the problem changed for, for really because of, because of two causes. One is the phenomenal amount of computing power that's become available to us, particularly these things called graphical uh, processing units. Uh, we put them into our computers to make the graphics faster, make games faster. And the other thing was a prevalence of data. So with huge amounts of data being put uh, onto the web, people are uploading photos uh, and movies and all this stuff. And there's data associated with that we call those labels. So people have uploaded pictures of their cats and their dogs and, and coffee cups and this and that. And each one of those pictures has got some text associated with saying what's a picture of. So then you can mine that and you can say, well, okay, now I've got a million pictures of a cat, a million pictures of a dog, all different dogs, all different cats, from all different sorts of viewpoints in all sorts of different lighting conditions. That's a really rich body of information. So deep learning, an algorithmic technique that takes all that data, the raw pictures and the tags, and assimilates it and trains a network, uh, very, very loosely modeled on a sort of neural network that we have in our heads and can then learn to generalize. So then given that a picture of a cat that's never seen before, we'll say it's a cat, and it'll do that pretty well. It'll do it very reliably. And you know, some of these networks now get levels of performance as good as humans, better than humans. But they're still capable of making mistakes. And they can't explain why they make the decision, uh, whether it's a good decision or a bad one, they can't say why. And so, yeah, they're very good at doing these classification problems, but they're not, they can't explain what why, how they've done it, and nor can they explain their confidence uh, in, in that. But that's a cutting-edge cutting research problem.